sing to all. A very merry man, I'm about to sing to you. All the hops sing is a thing that makes us fall through the truth. A very merry man, a very merry man, a very merry man, I'm sing to all. Me and the mama. Doing a very merry unboxing video tonight. Anyway, I don't know where that came from. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm just, I don't know. I, I'm kind of in awe right now. We pulled all of our pops out that we need to do unboxing videos for. You guys, you should see our laundry room. And, and, and it's, you know, our laundry room is half of a converted garage. And uh, so it's big and it's full. I swear to God, it almost looks like a hot topic. You should show them. Show. You should just show them real quick. Well, I'm gonna do a video actually, <laughs> kind of showing you what's coming up uh, in the future. So, but uh, so we're gonna get there, and we've got a lot of videos that we need to do over the course of the weekend. So you're gonna see us in the same clothes in a lot of the videos between today, tomorrow, and Sunday. No, I'll just keep changing. I'll just go to class and change every time. <laughs> every single time. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll act like my hair didn't need to be in a bun because it's all messy today. You know. <laughs> so. So, because of it, as you can see, this is just the Nightmare on Elm Street pop, uh, Nightmare, <laughs> Nightmare Before, before Christmas, Christmas Pops. Not, Nightmare on Elm Street Pops are a completely different thing. Did um, they make this? Yeah. We Did have they really? One, yeah. Do we have some of those? I have one of them, yeah. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> so, um, but these ones are Nightmare Before Christmas, and whereas we were featuring one pop per video, it would take... Y'all, a good. Just, I, uh, I had no idea. How it would take about four months. What this man has been putting into pops, I'm like, how'd you pay for those? Because that I'm, bill certainly didn't come up in any of the, uh, you know, statements that I saw. Yeah, so it would, take, like it would take about four. Secret income coming in. I don't know where he's. So instead, what we're going to be doing is featuring pops in groups and sets, um, and so some of the videos will be short because it may only be one or two pops. Some of them may tend to go on 18 minutes, 20 minutes, uh, because we're featuring multiple pops, but uh, bear with us, we'll get through them all, and it gives you guys a good look at what each of these pops is, so that if you're searching for them out in the wild, and you can decide if you want them or not, because you can see them out of the box. Now, um, first, which one do you want to start with? Because all these Nightmare Before Christmas pops... These all were got... for Christmas for me. So I don't know if anybody all saw our Christmas one, but I got all these for Christmas. But mm -hmm. now we're actually going to open them and let you guys see them. So I'm going to start with Zero with a little pumpkin nose. There we go. Zero with a little pumpkin nose. And I'll put these over here a little bit. He is number 71. I've never paid attention to the numbers because I don't care about the numbers. I just yeah. care how cute they are. Now, if you hear anything in the background, it's our beloved Tanner Bear. You guys know Tanner Bear. And if you don't know, um, Tanner Bear has Tourette's. He has Tourette's syndrome. He has, right now he's doing some tics where it's really clearing his throat or where he it's kind of yelps and chirps. So Very vocal tics right now. He can you cannot help, help that. It. There's and nothing. Um, if you don't know anything about Tourette's syndrome, you know, we encourage you to, you know, kind of look it up if you're curious. Um, they, this is literally something in their brain. They cannot help what they do. Um, they have um, vocal tics. They have, you know, body tics. They, and they can't help it. And it's, it it's, it's very hard for him. And he was diagnosed very, very young. And so it's only going to get worse for him through his teenage years. And then we're hoping that it slows down for him. Yeah. That's our prayer. So anyway, on to the pops again. But if you hear that, that's just, just our bear. Y'all know our bear. You love our bear. So <laughs> look at his head a little turn. His little cute. head turns. <laughs> he is cute. He is very He's a different cute. looking pop. He is, he is different looking. I like that. I like him too. I used to have, um, Mark got me years ago, the actual dolls of Jack and Sally. And Jack came with zero. And we still have the zero. But no, the Jack and Sally we don't have. And I'm just like... Are you kidding? Did I really let my mom garage sell Jack and Sally? Did I? Was I really dumb enough to do that? But anyway, he's very cute here. You want to talk about Look him? at this guy. He's, I love, he's just like a bed sheet. Well, he is. He's a bed sheet pretty that's, much. Yeah, that's what Zero is. And he's got like his little flowing body. His nose is different on this one because his nose is usually red, you know, like Rudolph, but he's, he's a got pumpkin. a little pumpkin nose. He's a pumpkin nose. And he's got his little mouth, he's smiling, and his little ears that are wispy. 
Um, I think a really cool variant, I don't think they've done a variant, but I think a cool variant for this zero would simply be like a glow-in-the-dark zero. Yeah, because he does, he, well, he doesn't actually glow, I mean, he's a ghost, he's a yeah. ghost dog, so I guess or, or maybe, technically he can glow Or maybe darks. even like a clearish one with a glow-in-the-dark nose. Red. That, that would be, be awesome, yeah, like a glow-in-the-dark really nose with a clear, clearer frosted see-through almost. Awesome. He's he cute. is not a exclusive or anything. He is a simple, normal pop. We picked up all of these pops uh, from Hot Topic. Ding! I like Hot Topic. They're friends of mine now. They they <laughs> they they message me and say we got in new pops. It's like <clears throat> it's like, like, like me at the grocery store. I go to the grocery store and I'm standing there and they all know me. And they're like, "Hey, Carrie, you're lost again, honey. What do you need? What are you looking for?" <laughs> so we've got our zero pop. And then we have a Woogie Boogie Pop. Now, for those who aren't in the know, Woogie Boogie was a bad mother in the movie. And he was, <laughs> he did talk like that. <laughs> he was a Woogie Boogie man. And he's, uh, he's made out of basically like burlap sack. And he's got stitching. Yeah, in the movie he's not green. So I don't know why they made him green. Yeah, in the, in the movie he was uh, he's like, like burlap. a burlap. He's like the, he's like yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I could see if it were like a glow in the dark, but this one isn't. I do think they make a glow in the dark oogie boogie, but this one's all all green. You can see the stitching. He's wearing. He's, the, he's holding the little dice. He oh. is not full of stuffing, people. He is full of insects. Yeah. If you remember the movie, he with his stitching rips and insects and, and stuff are crawling out. Bugs come out of him. He catches Santa Claus. He uses lock, shock, and barrel. Yeah. They catch a Santa Claus, that's Santa Claus, and bring him down. And they put him down and they, like, stuff him and they beat on they Santa. They do an awesome <clears throat> little song about it. Yep. You know. And he uses these dice, rolls them around like a game of chance. But check him out, look at his face. I, you know, I wish he was a little more evil looking. Um, yeah, because that's a little more happy than he looked in the movie. Instead of him being talking like this. I think he'd be like, hi, what's up? Check me out, I'm all fluorescent green and stuff. You wanna play craps? And then he That's what I see when I look at this Oogie Boogie. Alright, I wanna do the original Sally. The nightmare Sally. Mm. This one's good. I don't remember the little black cat following her around. Now, it's got a black cat with her. There are regular Jack and Sally's. But just then there's by also, themselves. But then there are these ones. Yeah, J- Jack and Vampire Teddy, and then uh, Nightshade Sally, and I like these ones better Nightshade. than the regular Nightshade. ones. Nightshade, okay. Yeah, I like these ones better than the regular ones because Isn't they Nightshade? actually come with a little something different. Well, what? The kitty. Oh, Look. Well, you mean somebody's hooked on? Okay. See, the regular Sally doesn't have a cat. Okay. And the regular Jack is just Jack. Okay. But these She's ones come got... with a little something. That, okay, that's what I was going to say. I don't remember a little black cat following her around in the movie, but she's got a little black kitty. It's a cute little kitty, and she's holding her nightshade <laughs> that her that she makes the potion to knock out her adopted dad or whoever the heck he is in the movie. We'll have to check that movie out again and see. Well, we watch it every year, but check it out. And she's got her red hair, all stringy because it's like yarn. Mm-hmm. And she's slash. She's like a doll. Her little cat actually comes all the way around. You see his little tail back here. He's got bright yellow eyes, and you see her little stockings with the the uh, stripes on them. And her little patchwork dress, she's got her stitching in her face, and she's kind of sad because she's kind of held captive by Dr. Frankenstein. And apparently, it, okay, that's who it was. <clears throat> by and, the doctor. and she hasn't, I guess, gotten to meet Jack yet, but she's got her nightshade there, so she's getting ready to pass him out so that <laughs> she can sneak out and see Jack. Yeah. The love of her life. Which is this one here. Now, this one here, not only did we get it at Hot Topic, but it was, it was one of the ones that Hot Topic carried that is a... Now, she doesn't want to stand up. Oh. <laughs> uh, now, I did see... See? I see, I saw some of them that actually had little stands now. They're starting to make little stands. Because their little feet are so teeny going. tiny, and her head is so big. Yeah, she I don't like it's that. The cat, look at the cat. His little feet are mm. offset, so... So, it, that, there you go. That one doesn't stand up too well. But that's okay. Now, we this one, uh, Hot Topic and Barnes & Noble, I think, both carried the New York Comic uh, New York Comic Con ones. This is a New York Comic Con one that was from Hot Topic. Vampire, or Jack and Vampire Teddy. I keep wanting to say Vampire Jack. Jack's not a vampire. Vampire yeah. is a skeleton. That's why he's Jack 
Skellington, hello. So let's, oh, and there are two, it's two little pops in one. Aww. Oh, how cool. And he doesn't, he looks, doesn't he look like he glow his head? He does. But, but his head doesn't glow. Um, but you've got Jack, which is classic Jack Skellington. His face actually looks a little creepy. Yeah. It looks creepier than Moogie Boogies, I'll tell you that much. Usually, you know, he's got this sweet smile on him, so that's a little different that they, you know, they made him like the, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, and he's got a hand out, like he's waving, uh, his pinstripe suit, which is awesome. It's got like a little bat uh, for the, the necktie, the necktie, bow tie, bow tie, the neckerchief, the necktie. <laughs> And then, no, I don't think that Jack had a bow tie. I think, well, yeah. maybe that is. Okay. And then you have the little vampire Teddy. Now, this vampire Teddy is uh, one of the gifts yeah, that they give out at Christmas. Does it look like Bambi? Yeah. Know. But he's, he's a little teddy bear that is a vampire, and you can see his little uh, teddy bear uh, ears there. And he's got like a black and white striped. Uh, Outfit, I guess it's supposed to symbolize cape. like fur, and he's got a little he's cape, cape and like little PJs on that have button up PJs. And no, you know, you know what? No, oh, you know what? Yeah, he does. I don't think you see him. Oh, his you teeth can't... are jagged. You guys aren't gonna yeah, be able to see it. There's no way you can see it because it's they're not jagged little teeth, though. It would have been a little better if that jagged was a black, black line, yeah. but it, it's like it is jagged little teeth. Kind of like it shows on this picture here, you can see the little jagged teeth on that teddy bear. So, that... Yeah, exactly, yeah. Why didn't they do that? <clears throat> I don't that know. That is so weird. Huh. But yeah, he's actually got the jagged little teeth. Yeah. Alright, let me see. I'm going to do the... Oh. Now, I am still trying to find... If I can find it, then I'm getting it. Because this is the Day of the Dead... Sally, there is a Day of the Dead Jack Skellington, oh, and yeah, I cannot I find him. I don't know if it's clear, but... <clears throat> so we've got the Sally. Dia de los Muertos. Muertos. Dia de los Muertos. I should totally know that, living in New Mexico and stuff. But So she's all painted up, all pretty. <laughs> like, I'm sure lots and lots of people do for Halloween. She looks... Well, like they do for the like they do for the Day of the Dead festival. Yeah. She, you know, she doesn't actually look like Sally except for her body. So, like, if you go like that, you're like, oh yeah, that's Sally. Yeah. But she's pretty. She's cute. She's different. She's different. But I, I, you like... know, they do all these variants so that we buy them, and here we go buying them. But you, I mean, and you guys know me. I love the different variants. ones. I love the different ones. I, um, more so than the regular ones in a lot of cases. But there she is with all of her. Makeup, all her fanny glory, but she's and sad because Nightshade Sally has her Jack. So this little Dia de los Muertos Sally needs her Jack, and it's so sad that she's living a lonely life now. Her hair's pink, yeah, it's not of red. Red. You know, poor Sally. Even when she's happy, she seems sad. Yeah. In the movie, even. and she has her again her patchwork quilt. Dress, Cause she's, dress. Because she's a doll. Yeah. She was sewn together by Dr. Frankenstein. Let's but see if she stands up. She stands up! <laughs> so, we don't have the oh, De Los Muertos. Carrie wants to open the <laughs> Santa Jack. Okay, he doesn't get his voice. <clears throat> so, I'm going to open the, the only other uh, exclusive. So, we had the Hot Topic New York Comic Con exclusive. And this is a Hot Topic exclusive. Um, again, you know what? I honestly think that all of these ones would have been really cool. This one, this one, this one, and this one, if they would have glowed. That would have been so awesome. But they had, they would have had to have glowed, glowed. Because, well, this one would have been really cool if, like, if her paint didn't oh, yeah. glow, but her face did so that you could light her up and then yeah. you could see the paint in the dark. That would be cool. But they would have to glow because some of these, ones, some of these pops that we get that, that are supposed they to be glow, glow, they we don't were, glow. We were looking at one. We went, we, we went into our closet and, <laughs> like, shined it and then turned off our light and it didn't glow. So this is Pumpkin King Jack. Jack the, Jack, Pumpkin, the King. Pumpkin King! And I don't know if you know, but at the beginning of the movie, he comes out like that, and then like the pumpkin comes off, and he's because for just Halloween so you've got jack o' lantern, right? So he's got his jack o' lantern pumpkin head, and he's got straw liking, liking straw looking pants, 
He's got a red shirt that's kind of sewn up in the front, and I like the way it frays. So he looks like a scarecrow. Pig. Yeah, I like the way it frays out around the bottom and around the sh the uh, arms. That is cool. And then he's got his skeleton hands are done up like like twigs. Twigs. <laughs> That is cool. I like the way this one looks. This is, yeah, this is like at the very beginning of the movie, I believe. I this think out of these favorite. so far, my favorites would be this one. Are this one and Zero. Zero. Zero is my favorite. Yeah. He's so cute, you and guys. Then I, I'm sorry, I like this little guy. He's Just so because cute. he's such a tiny little pop. He's, I love that. Uh -oh. yes, we, got, right. we got oh, another no. faller. Oh no. Got another Stand faller. Stand up, Jack. Oh All my right. god, Jack. Stand up. He's going to have to stand over here by. Yeah, no. A little top heavy. There. Oh, there we go. Okay. And last but not least, we got ourselves the Santa Jack. The Santa and again, Jack. he's got that weird, you know, where he's got his toothy grin and it's supposed to look sweet, but I like it where he's just got his, you know, the mouth that looks almost like stitched. I like that one much better. But he's cute. He's he's holding a present. <laughs> and he thinks he's all Santa ish because he found <laughs> Santa. He found Christmas land. He, he really. He, he thought it was so awesome, he wanted to do it. Just for a night. He just wanted to do it for a night as something different because it made him happy. It brought and him joy. He didn't understand that, you know, kidnapping Santa and putting <laughs> vampires in kids' stockings would be <laughs> bad. He didn't, you he, know, he's... what else would you expect from the pumpkin king? Yeah, right? I mean, you know, Halloween is all about the, tri the tricks and the treats, right? So he was like, well, uh, Christmas is just a different form of that. But there's snow and there's joy, and, and instead of people screaming, it's happiness. No he wanted to be a part of that. Easter. But, how how oh. would he turn into the Easter Bunny? <laughs> I don't now, know how he would do that. This, I tell you, though, if you came around a corner and saw Santa Claus with a skeleton right. face, I think you'd freak out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but he does. He's got his, his fake beard uh, down and around. There's no. He's there's got not his, even any pictures of Jack Normal, so... Look at all of I his, like his. I like his normal. The smile. fluff around the head and the little ball at the back of the hat. He's got his uh, fur-lined cuffs and on his legs. He's got his little Santa outfit. His his uh, but it's vest still, with that little it, belt. But he's skinny, skinny. It's still jacked up though because he's it's like all pointy. You know, yeah. It's all soft it's like Santa. Look at that. Is all it's not like rounded. It's all pointy. That's good. And then he's got his. Black boots, which again kind of are pointy in the front instead of rounded boots, and that's the green and red present there. And I think it would have been funny if, like, <laughs> a, you know, a worm or a snake would have been coming out of the present. That would have been because cute. all of the presents were messed up. You guys, yeah, like, messed up. <laughs> like, seriously, I would have sued the North Pole if my kids had gotten <laughs> a present like that. He stands up. I would, have, oh. I would have been on the phone with Santa, going, "Excuse me," and he would have been, "Oh, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. I was kidnapped." Yeah, there we go. It just has to be bent forward a little bit. And so I thought it was going to fall. No. It didn't fall. So, what do you guys think about these Nightmare Before Christmas Pops? Uh, have you gotten any yourself? Have you gotten any ones that we didn't get? Which ones uh, we didn't made get the, the we didn't get... De Los Muertos uh, Jack. Or the mayor. Whoa, we didn't get the mayor. I didn't even see there's a mayor. And no I regular would, Sally. I wonder if his... Face is different on the back. I wonder if he has two faces. That would be kind of neat. That would be cool. Uh, the mayor had the two faces because you know he could have the happy and then the scared face. No regular Sally and no regular Jack. But I don't think we need the regular one since we've got these. Yes, ones. sorry, excuse me. Okay. Um, so if you enjoyed them. this video, if you enjoyed this format, showing them all together as a set instead of individually, give us a thumbs up. Let us know. Tell us in the comments down below. Uh, would you like to see another Jack Skellington movie? I mean, Nightmare Before Christmas. Do, you know what? I mean, Nightmare Before no. Easter or you know what? something. It's it's like everything else. Some classics you don't mess with. That is you true. You just don't mess with them. That is mm -hmm. true. Um, I w yes, I will. Yeah. Admit to no, that. this is an awesome movie. You don't mess with it. So if you haven't done so already, uh, be sure to also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, Instagram. That information is after the video uh, at, the, at the end screen that comes up. And if you have not done so already, please click the... Hello, hello, hello.
please click that subscription <laughs> button and uh, tell your friends and family about us. Have them, if you think that they might be interested in the videos we put out, have them come and watch. If they do, have them subscribe as well. We'd love to welcome them into our Funky Bunch. For those who do subscribe, thank you so much for helping us on this journey. We couldn't do this stuff without you, and we love doing this stuff for you. It makes us happy to know that uh, it's, it's bringing joy to people out there, so thank you very much. And uh, I think that about wraps this one up. I think so. Yeah. So uh, we will catch you next time on the next installment of A Very Merry Unboxing. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.